It says we are live. It's Biz to Biz with Joy. Grow your business in style. And tonight, what are we talking about? <gasps> Fashion, style, and you. So stay tuned. I am Joy Ruffin, your style and leadership coach. Women hire me to amp up their wow factor because they're unaware, they're tired of struggling, spending gobs of money, and they want someone to help them to get in sync and amp up the wow factor so that they can get back in the flow of what they love to do and how they love to look. And that's what we're going to be talking about tonight, because tonight our featured guest, her background will just blow you away. And I know you, you don't want to hear from me. You want to hear from her. So thank you for being here. It's always good when you show up. I love it when you do. I want you now to help me to welcome our guest. And I want you to say hello to Bonnie. Bonnie Roseman, hello and welcome. Good to see you. Good to have you here. Hi, Hi Joy. Wonderful to be here. Thank you for including me in a show about style and fashion. <laughs> you know, that's our first love. Well, I should say our love and it's our first love too, but it's so much more than fashion and style and your background. <gasps> Bonnie, it's absolutely fabulous. So give us a little bit of how you got started and why you love it so much. I think it was a God-given gift. I was dressing my mother and my older sister since I'm five years old. And it was just something I was born with. And then as I grew older and decided I wanted to create a career that would really be coming from my passion, it was fashion and styling people. And I've been doing it now for 40 years. I don't believe it. Not 40 years, not that long. I started no, when no, I was no, five. No. <laughs> I think it's great. And I think the work that you're doing is great because that's what I do in a different way. But let me ask you this. What gives you the most pleasure in the work that you do? Because every woman, I think, Bonnie, correct me if I'm wrong. I think they feel and they think that they dress correctly. They dress right and they're doing the best that they can. And yet too many feel maybe that they're missing something. So what's the number one reason people come to you to help them to get more of a wow factor in their look. I, I think that what they like about me is that I can take what they existingly own in their closet and I can bring it up about a hundred notches with one of a kind pieces that are treasures that have nothing to do with being a seasonal piece or something that's just in the trend. These are pieces that you have for a lifetime and you know that every time you go out in them, people are just going to go, where did you get that? And it brings about such a smile and happiness and a confidence in them that they keep on coming back for more. Well, I can understand why. You know why, Bonnie? Because even with all of this madness in the fashion industry, which you and I both love, it's really about style. And what you're supporting them is with is to develop their own style. And you use two words that are priceless for me and for you and for the women that we work with. Seasonal, seasonless, and priceless. In other words, classic pieces. They can do some drama from time to time, but you're giving them pieces that are quality, priceless, that they can use forever and ever and ever. What is the number one, I would say, avenue that you help them to discover more about themselves with as far as styling themselves? What's that number one? I know it's different for everyone, but yet there's always that underlying. What would that be? I really do think that these people, when they feel like they're put together with that punch piece and they can walk into a room and know that there's no store in the country that has what I have, they're not going to ever see themselves coming or going. It gives them a sense of individuality that they're so proud of. You know what? I like this. You and I are on the same page, different lane, but reading the same, different chapter, but reading the same book. You know why, Bonnie? Because you just mentioned something. I use another word, but it's the same thing. That exclusivity is what you're giving. You're offering, you're showing, you're sharing that with them. And you mentioned before, when they go somewhere, there's no one else who's going to have that piece on. And if they do even, it's going to be ex accessorized differently with for them, because that's what you were able to give them. That's a gift. That's a gift. When did you, you said from a, a early age, you knew this. 
you were dressing your parents and the family and everybody. But when did you really know that you had to, a, a natural eye for it? You had an affinity for it. I mean, it started with one artist who had confidence in me. They met me and said, oh, my gosh, I would love for you to represent me. This is the artist that I've been representing now for four decades and more or less. It's an item. It's actually been made by multiple artists, but this is called the fish. Yes. We can there see it. Is. And it's made out of silk chiffon and silicone. And you can wear it about a dozen different ways. So I teach my clients how to wear it and really get multiple uses out of it. But today I'm wearing a black with silver and I'm wearing a very unique pair of earrings. And the rest of the outfit is just black because people love black. They look slim and they look trim and these pieces roll in a ball in a suitcase. But then you throw on a scarf like this that's unique, one of a kind, no store carries it but me. And then earrings that are unique. And wham, you know, when you walk into a room, heads are gonna turn. Let me ask you this, because this is another part that I wanted to get to a wee bit later, but we might as well jump into it now. You are multifaceted. One of my favorite words that I use often in so many ways you represent, you go out and you have a strong aesthetic eye for art. So you represent artists. So tell us a little bit about your environment, where you live, the loft that you're in and how you showcase the people that you represent. Well, I did have a shop for 10 years on Worth Avenue, but on, on my own, way before COVID, I mean, we're talking about six years ago, I decided I'd rather work with people individually. I had gone to people's homes for many years, and I tried that method and worked with them in their closet. Then I ended up having a store in a little via off of Worth Avenue in Palm Beach, Florida. And now it's by appointment only. I still do house calls or people come over and they'll bring me things that they have sitting in their closet that they don't know what to do with. And the minute they walk in the door here, their jaws drop because I <laughs> also have represented painters, weavers, and sculptors. I mean, I've just somehow gravitated towards artists of wearable art and fine art that needed assistance in getting their works out there. And so my place, I've amassed such an incredible collection of wearables and fine art that I have a place with 30 foot vertical walls, art everywhere you look, and people just come in and they, they can't believe their eyeballs. It's just so I bright bet, and I bet. And Bonnie, the key word that you're throwing at us in the most loving way is wearable, wearable. So many of the artists that you represent and who come to you and you go to them, whatever, you're able to abstract something that you can make into garments, styles, clothes, Absolutely. Belts, handbags, uh, jewelry, uh, bracelets, rings. I mean, everything from head to toe. I don't sell hats that often and I don't sell shoes, but everything else to put the outfit together. And I do have three golden rules to dress by, which I think are very valuable too. Share. Share them with well, us. Well, my company is called BLT, and it doesn't stand for bacon, lettuce, and tomato, but it does <laughs> seem to be a catchy little three initials that people will remember. But uh -huh. B stands for build your wardrobe with classic pieces. L, liven your wardrobe with fun novelty items. And T, tweak your wardrobe with touches of color. And most important, feel good, but look even better. Oh, absolutely stunning. I don't know how one couldn't remember and recall that BLT, but the way that you do it, build and liven and tweak, because when you're in the process of developing your own signature style, that's what you do. Exactly that. You do the BLT as you have outlined it. I think that's great. One of the things that happens, I think, with many women, I think, Bonnie, tell me if I'm wrong or if you have discovered this. As we age, I speak from my own perspective. When you're young, you can wear and you can get away with any, every and all things, most likely, because it really doesn't matter. I mean, everything is there. It's put together and so on and so on. But as you age, things change. So what are some of the changes that comes about for that lady who's in her second chapter, second act, that you support her with and discovering how to continue to dress and be and have a strong presence, yet have a style that fits her and her body, her personality and her lifestyle. How do you do that? I'm so glad you asked because Good. without 
trying. I have a lot of clients that do not have the perfect figure and they are looking for things that will make them feel good, but will kind of hide their figure challenges. I call it hiding the three T's, the tummy, the tush and the thighs. And um, I specialize in doing the most fabulous jackets and tunic tops that just float, whether you're a size two or a size 22. And then I throw on a fabulous scarf or a fantastic pendant or a great pair of earrings. And it's like a wow. And then I even have a line of athleisure clothing that I'm selling on my website on bonnieroseman.com and their leggings that we're now doing from extra, extra small up to 3XL. So it's very few people that can find leggings on the regular market out in a shop that are up to 3XL, but I do. And even for a full figured woman, she can put on a pair of leggings and it really, with a long tunic that comes below the thigh, like a 32 inch, no matter what size they are or height, they look incredible. Yes. Let me, well, let me ask you something here because this is a good point to speak on and go more in depth about. And point of fact, you tell me what your thoughts are because this is mine and I'm sharing it with you and the audience. Most people, and this is most, B-U-T-T's, derrieres, backsides, all the names you want to give it, are not absolutely divine, yet everybody, B-O-D-Y, is beautiful. That, in my thinking and yours, is a given. But when it comes to what you're talking about, leggings, jeggings, and tights, and so on, what's coming to the fold now is what they call the high-low look. And why? Because not everyone has Jennifer Lopez backside. She works out three, four hours a day. God bless her. I love her. Most <laughs> people do. But the truth is, as we age, lots of wonderful things happen to the body and aging is a gift. So what you just described, Bonnie, and how you described it, I hope that everyone out there who's in that category heard what you said, because you said can cover and conceal in a way that gives you still the wow factor. In other words, it doesn't need to be shown the way too many are showing it these days. So speak a little bit more about that and what your thoughts are about the high low look because leggings, jeggings and tights, they're fabulous and they're comfortable. Everybody wants comfort these days, yet you got to know, have to know how to wear them. So speak a little bit Absolutely. more about that because that's the category I'm, that we're in, casual. I'm telling you. I agree with you. I mean, in other words, I don't want to see my clients running around in leggings with a sports bra and, you know, uh, having, yes. you know, their midsection falling out or, you know, seeing all the ripples and rolls. But I'll take the legging. Okay, they can put on the sports bra, but some fabulous silk tunic. And I have like probably 20 colors and a fabulous scarf great pair of earrings and these tunics are cut in a way where they literally i'm telling you you wouldn't know there's a ripple or a roll and it just floats it's easy and they are seasonless pieces and timeless i mean you don't get rid of these pieces they pack like a dream of course i have the shawls that if you needed a cashmere shawl and it's chilly out or i have lightweight coats that can be made that are you know kimono coat i have everything I mean, I can do anything. I can get anything. I mean, you, you know, I've been doing it for a long time. But Bonnie, 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 listen, let me tell you, I love you. You you are truly a Renaissance woman. And we are in the thick of a rebirth of everything when it comes to women, femininity, sexuality, sensuality, and all of that good stuff. We are really in the thick of a re a renaissance, which is a rebirthing of everything that, what the true essence of that means. And I love the way that you describe that. And you mentioned something that's vital and very instrumental now for any and every woman. And you mentioned fabrics that travel because today, almost all the fabrics, they can still be breathable, but they have to be able that you can roll them up and go here, there and yonder and, and change around and so on. So how did you come about the discovery of getting all of these fabrics aligned with the styles that you have? And by the way, you're also a fashion designer and I know what that's about because I started out. Are you still doing the designs for many of the things I that am. you're offering? And then you have- I, I design, about that. but I, I, don't do, I don't do the sewing. I'll, I'll come up with the idea, the concept, do a sketch, 
find the fabrics, but I have people that do the sewing. But these are things under my own label. And I have to say, I'm very proud that in my many years of doing what I'm doing, and, and generally speaking, up until recently, before I started carrying the athleisure line, I just dealt with luxury goods and to a high-end audience. Now, this uh, athleisure collection that I've now taken on is affordable by a lot of people because it's under $100, mostly every garment. But the main thing is that I have people making these items for me, but I have swatches. So they, the client gets a chance to participate in the process and feel like she's almost designing along with me. And, mm -hmm. and, and the other interesting thing is that I was on Home Shopping Network. Yes. And I actually went to Shanghai this is, you know, obviously many years before COVID Great, thanks, and I yeah. went to Shanghai and I made my, my, my couture line for the masses and was okay. able to have them duplicate it in fabrics that were still amazing, but rolled in a ball and traveled yes. based on my couture pieces. I was selling, it was really, even my high end luxury clients were going, God, I love your stuff on HSN. <laughs> you know? Let's speak, let's speak to that a wee bit because your background is really fantastic and it's, uh, and you have done so many, I would say trend setting type of uh, things that you've been involved with and you've been a part of, but let's talk a wee bit, Bonnie, before I go to a quick break about high-end couture and actual everyday wear that's quality. And because I don't think a lot of women understand that they don't necessarily have to go out. If they can afford it, fine. But many times, most of us can't. Yet, you can still dress and look like a prima donna. So how do you segue to let people know that it's not about the dollars as much as about the quality of what you're offering them? It's true. I, I mean, I really make an effort to try to have the gamut. And as long as the things are made well, I mean, I remember in Shanghai, they actually, you could eat off the floor on that factory. And yes. Unbelievable how clean. And these things were made out of fabrics that were, I mean, instead of it being a four ply silk, it might be a poly crepe, but it still felt great, looked great didn't wrinkle. That was a prerequisite for me because, I mean, obviously with COVID, we haven't been able to travel as much, but up until this past year, people traveled a lot. They wanted things that were easy to pack and, and, and not have to worry about wrinkling. That has always been a priority of mine. Yes. And I like it that it is because it's mine as well. But let me just say this. We're going to take a quick break. But before we leave, Bonnie, I got two of the T's. I missed one. Three T's. I love that. I want to remember that. Give us the three T's again. I'm going to take a quick break and then I'm going to come back and we're going to talk about the movie and all the other things that you've done wow. that will inspire and enlighten women. But give us the three uh, T's again. It's the tummy, the tush, and the thighs. <laughs> the tush is what I miss. Would you know it? <laughs> Stay tuned. I'm going to be back with you in just a second. <laughs> I wouldn't miss the tush because the tush is an area that, well, listen, what can I say? Is she fantastic? She knows her business. She loves her business. And she's all about giving you everything that you need so that you can show up and shout out and stand out and say, I'm here and I am ready because I feel good. I know that I look good and I'm in the right garments. Now we're doing the same thing, but you know, there's no competition. People complete one another. That's my aim. That's my goal. So if you want to make sure you get her name, her email, and her website, and you connect with her. I belong to one of the best, several of the best female networking groups possible. And this is where I met this lovely lady, the Polka Dot Powerhouse Women. But here's what I want to invite you to. I have a mastermind coming up, and it's going to be on... March the 18th, which is a Thursday, next Thursday at 430. Can you believe it? Please, I'm going to put the link here. Make sure that you sign up and you get there because we're going to be talking about everything that Bonnie is sharing with us tonight and much, much more because my intention is for you to get to know what the underlying best outline for you will be in the development of your own signature style. Plus, please, if you're not a member, join the Facebook group. Leading ladies, leaving legacies, living legacies. Bonnie is a member and you will be as well. I have lots of things that I'm going to be sharing with you. I'm going to be starting 
next week, going into the leading ladies once a week, where you're going to come in with any questions, any concerns, any, any and everything that you have that you want an answer to, or you want to brainstorm with others about whatever it is. So please make sure that you join us, Leading Ladies, Leading Legacies, the group, and join me for Step Into Your Style, your signature style. And that'll be next Thursday, March the 18th at 4.30 and on a Zoom call. Bonnie, let me say this. One of the things that I love about you is you sent me a little video. Tell us and the audience about how that video came about, the title, and also I should have that link so others can see that because that's a great video. It gives a great background highlight of all the fantastic things that you've done. So tell us a little bit more about that. I, I decided that I wanted to share my story because I felt that it would inspire young people to start a business from their passion and that you don't have to have a lot of money to really create a career that you love and are passionate about and really make a difference. So I decided to do a short film. I worked on it for one year with an editor and it's called Days of My Life. And it tells my story from the time I was born till present day in seven minutes. And that is no easy feat. And it happens to be on my website under bonnieroseman.com under short films. And I actually created two short films two years in a row, submitted them to short film festivals and won Best in Fest at the Palm Beach International Short Film Festival with this one called Days of My Life. And it's really meant to inspire others to come from their passion and not let anything get in their way of doing what they love and that they can earn. And it does that. It does that, Bonnie. I, I was absolutely blown away. It's a beautifully orchestrated little short film. And the way that it ties together and weaves one story into the other, brilliantly done. So I applaud you and commend you for that. It's a great job. So that's why I wanted you to mention it because I want people to get to your website and also maybe before, well, they can get it at the website. They need to see it because it's a great story. It really is. Tell us what's in the hopper. My favorite word is hopper of lately. What are you up to? What's coming up for you? This pandemic will be over soon. We're all going to be out of it and it's time to show up and stand out. So what are some plans that you have for the near future? Oh my gosh. I mean, I created seven zero seventy YouTube fashion shows on you. They're all on YouTube under Bonnie Roseman's fashion buzz. So I did 70 fashion shows and now people are really starting to watch that and they want more. So I did season one from Palm Beach. I did season two up in Nantucket. And now that I've taken on this line of athleisure clothing and I'm really posting a lot of things that you can wear the low end with the high end, people want me to combine them and do season three. I just did number one of season three. It's on YouTube and it's also on my website. I have a radio show. I'm going to continue with that. It's on 100.3 FM legendsradio.com. It's internationally live stream every week. And I do a thing called Bonnie's Buzz About Town. So I'll continue <laughs> with that. And uh, I'll probably end up doing another film because I love that. But it might be called Food and Fashion or Fabulous <laughs> Food and Fashion with Bonnie. Because You I are a busy bee. Every night during the pandemic, I cooked and cooked and cooked and shared my recipes. Now people want me to combine my food with fashion. I love it. I don't know what to do first. Bonnie, hold on here a minute because we have to go back. I asked you what was in Hopper and what you've been doing and what's going to happen when it opens up again, when this pandemic is over, so more or less. Did I hear you say, I know I did, have you made and put together 70 films within the past year? Yes, 70 (gasps) 15 minute segments of me doing a one woman fashion show and really showing people it's meant to inspire. Of course, I'm showing my collection, but one would be all on jackets and, and, and jackets and coats. One's just on pearl jewelry. One's on all purple clothes, all kinds of things. One's on reds, one's on blues, one's on 
belts and bags. So I'm there to inspire. It's not just showing what I have, but it gives people an idea of how to take what they have in their closet and yes. put it together. It's it's kind of a dual purpose that way. Of course, they can call oh. me and say, God, do you still have that jacket and, you know, that tweed that I saw in show number 302? And I go, oh, let me <laughs> check, you know. But really, truthfully, it's to inspire them to go into their closets. Yeah. And re well, we all need a little inspiration right here and now. So that's good. And I like the way you're mixing, mixing it all up because we need that as well. And the more visual you can see and you can put it together for yourself, the better. You really are a busy bee and I think it's great. There are a lot of things coming up that I want to work and share with you because I know that there's a kindred soul there and we can be supportive of each other. So this is one thing that I want to talk to you about at another time. But how is it that you get with all of this marketing that you do between the TV show and the radio and the YouTube and everything else, you don't really have to go out and market and network for clients because they come to you. Well, I have to admit to you, I'm a very social butterfly and with, yes, COVID, you are. And it's a good thing. It, it was a real test. You, you know, you and I met at the polka dot powerhouse. I'm yes. Part Femme, I'm part of Fem city, which is a wonderful group of entrepreneurial women. And I am also working with a group called Movies Making a Difference, where they're raising money for uh, people that are victims of child abuse and uh, tra human trafficking. So, I mean, I go out and about, and even with COVID, we all have to wear masks. I, I, I was going to show you, but I don't have it. I, I even have unique masks now that are made by an artist in New Orleans that are in the shape of a bird beak so that my glasses don't fog up and I have a little more room to breathe. And by wearing them, people have been calling me. I want a beak mask. So I now I'm selling Bonnie, masks. Bonnie, I know you know, and you have heard of Iris Uphel, right? Say, oh, of course. Iris, I of course. She, Every, she everybody. Go to my hair salon. Let me tell you why. There is no similarity in the way you look and the way you project and what you present. But the underlying being involved with any, every, and all things that connect and the beautiful arena of what's beautiful and aesthetically appealing. You both have that eye and that's a gift. So I really, I, I praise and celebrate you for that because we need more of that. And the universe is calling for women now to step up and show up in their glory, which is the height of their femininity. So this is great. Time flies here and it's going away. Oh. Tell us what you want to leave us what, with. What do you want to share with us about, we know we have your website, we have your email address, we have your phone number, and we're going to make sure that this is continually going across so people will connect with you. But what are some, and your phone number, I didn't ask you, but do you mind? Some people do. I say it's a public Oh, no, number. I even announce my, my cell number on Good the radio you. every week. So. Great. I mean, so what do you what do you want to leave us with? What do you want us to be thinking about and have here that's rolling around in the noodle about Bonnie Roseman? Well, I, I want people to know that no matter what they have in their pocketbook, they can look terrific. Like you said, they can go for the low end, the high end, or the in-between. I think that they should be very realistic about their shape and make sure that they get things that don't cling to the three T areas so that that's flattering. I think that if you're going to put your money into anything, it should be accessories because that can take something you can buy at Target and just yeah. like people go, wow. And I did want to at least say that for the first time in my life, although I've had my own company for, like I said, many decades, although I feel like I really am still 25, <laughs> that I now am part of a company that is called Savvy, S-A-V-V-I. I'm a brand partner and I'm okay. building a team of other like-minded people. And uh, if somebody's looking for a, another avenue of revenue stream and they'd like to get involved with athleisure clothing, which is a multi-billion dollar industry at this point, I'm open and receptive to telling you more about this new opportunity to make money and have fun. That's what it's about for me. If you well, earn a living, that, that's, that's, a great, that's a great ending. It's a good way to end because 
most everyone today because of this pandemic will be looking for other avenues of income other streams that they can use and that's a good way and casual is in no matter where you go and what you do and even if you're a professional and you dress not that strict navy suit but you dress like a professional you still can be casual but you got to know how to do it like bonnie said earlier right. thank you thank you thank you thank you bless it you was, joy bless you it was a pleasure stay in the green room i'll be with you in just a second don't go anywhere bless you <gasps> don't you love her you know what i unfortunately or is it fortunately i think it's fortunately I really fall in love with all of the women that I bring here because you see, here's my mantra and I want to leave it with you. And I want you to be thinking about this and take it to heart. Don't compete with anyone, even if they're doing the same thing that you are. Help yourself and them to complete each other. That's what we as women have to be all about. I always enjoy being with you. It's always a pleasure to be with you. I started this biz to biz with joy, grow your business in style because of this crazy pandemic. And Bonnie leaving us with that, if you want additional streams of income, here's an avenue that you could pursue, then get to her and do just that. Because things are going to be different when it opens up again. It'll be not like yesterday, today, or tomorrow. It'll be different. Different is not always new and new is not always different. Yet, that's a conundrum I leave you with. Wear the mask, be well, stay safe, do everything that they're telling us to do. And whatever you do, connect with Bonnie. And I'll look to see you tomorrow night, same time, same place. And for sure on March the 18th. And I can't wait to see you. You take care and be well. All the best. See you soon. So long.